Now it's time to talk about IMSA. It stands for the International Motorsports Association. And they are the ones that control the, the various times, the United Sports Car Championship, Weathers Tech Sports Car Championship. Basically, the, this championship formed from the merger of the American Le Mans series. If you watch my Le Mans video, you're probably familiar with that, those cars. Now, the other one was Grand Am, and they were mostly owned by NASCAR, but unlike NASCAR, they are actually worth watching. These were prototypes and GTs, just like in NASCAR, just not as or, prototypes and GTs, just like in Le Mans, just not as fast. Uh, NASCAR, <laughs> hate that. Anyway, uh, like with Le Mans, they were divided into prototypes and GTs. And both series kind of kept that, but with different details. The um, ALMS kept the Le Mans rules fairly carefully. For instance, if for some reason you were unable your car was unable to make it back to the pits you were out of the race if you strayed too far from the car you were out of the race and in other words you could get an outlook or damage see if you could get it back maybe make repairs but if you walked too far from the car that was it but anyway uh after a while they kind of decided that needed to merge. Uh, one of the problems was that the ALMS was losing some of the teams. Audi pulled out. And just about everybody pulled out. All that were left were a handful of teams and the prototypes and some other cars. And that was where Grand Dam came in. They still had the money and were able to keep going. You might have heard about the 24 hours of Daytona. Or maybe not. Daytona is probably more associated with the Daytona 500 and NASCAR. But when Grand Am or now IMSA goes to Daytona, they go around a very different track. Sure, they use the four ovals, but then they use this twisty infield section that gets pretty dark. And around back, at the end of the back straight, there's this bus stop, double chicane that they have to go through. A chicane is basically just an S-shaped turn that slows you down. In this case, you could go through one S and then you reverse that to go back to where you were. And what they tell the GT drivers, since these are slower, don't go up on the banking as high. Leave that to the prototypes because they will blow by you like you're standing still. Especially now that they've got more power and everything the current DP prototypes yeah, it's called G they turn a prototype Le Mans they are almost as quick as the best LMP1 cars now and in fact there's something called rule convergence going on which will allow IMSA teams to take their prototypes to Le Mans and race them and they're hoping to get cars from other places in Le Mans too. But anyway, this is about Emson. So, uh, currently there's only three classes, although ALMS used to have a fourth class called Prototype Challenge, which was 
what looked like a two seat open top car but it was really only one seat the other seat was kind of more for computers and whatever instrumentation fire extinguisher and so on uh, you IMSA rules don't allow tire blankets or any other heating warmer so these tires go out cold and they need to really heat up when they get hot you wouldn't be able to touch the tire and even if you did it, the rubber would be so sticky it'd stick to your hand But until they get hot, they're like driving on ice, especially when it's cold out and rainy. And Now, as far as rain is concerned, normally these two guys drive on slicks, no tread. But they do have a wet or single wet weather tire available, except for the GT Le Mans series cars which are basically identical to what would drive at Le Mans in the GT series. GT LM cars are all pro drivers. Well you don't have to have an AM driver anyway. Uh, and you up there you'll see it like Corvette racing and up till this year you would have seen four GTs and something. You'll see Porsches and BMWs, Ferraris. And the other final class is GTD. GT Daytona basically. And these are less powerful GT machines. Either GT3 or similar specs. Not as quick but they have less drag and so sometimes they keep up but anyway that's IMSA for you I my next video is probably going to be on Kravenic Racing 24hseries.com not sure if I'll do that tonight or not if you like this video please like and share it subscribe click the bell Definitely share it.